Thank you, Madam Chair. Ms. Reyes, I'd like to start with you. First, to thank you for being here. You've long been a critic of the brutal Chavez Maduro regimes in Venezuela. I agree with you. Um, the Maduro regime today has provided a beachhead for malign activity in the Western Hemisphere for China, for Iran, for Russia. They've extended a lifeline to Cuba, and frankly, they support illicit drug smuggling and money laundering throughout the region. Uh, those concerns are, are, are very significant. I understand that you hold dual citizenship as a Venezuelan citizen and an American citizen. And if you're confirmed, I want to ask you on the record for myself and for the committee, will you agree to renounce your Venezuelan citizenship? Well, thank you very much, Senator Haggerty, for that question. Um, yes, I do also renounce, uh, denounce, I should say, um, I would denounce my Venezuelan citizenship, yes. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. One of my concerns uh, has been with this administration's foreign policy and its tendency to moralize on issues that may have great political interest, but aren't directly at our national security and economic interest. And you have served on the board of Planned Parenthood Action Fund. Planned Parenthood Action Fund advocates for some very divisive policies. For example, right. expanding the Supreme Court. Um, taking away the Helms Amendment, doing, dispensing with the Helms Amendment, even advocating for so-called gender-affirming care. Um, as you mentioned in your opening testimony, if you're confirmed to be U.S. Ambassador, it will be your highest honor, but it will also be your great responsibility. And I would like to know, first, do you agree with the positions of Planned Parenthood Action Fund? Um, if confirmed, my sole focus will be representing the American people and the American interests in Croatia. Well, you did a good job of articulating your plans there. I want to encourage you strongly to stick to those plans, please. And please commit to us that you will not use this as a platform in any way to advocate for these other policies. Senator, you have my full assurance that I'm there to represent the American people and the American interest. Great. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to turn my next question, if I might, um, to, to you, Mr. Bradley. Um, I appreciate your recognition of Guatemala's strategic importance to the United States. You, you did a good job of that in your opening statement. Um, as you know, no partner is perfect. Guatemala, though, has long faced difficult challenges of combating public corruption, corruption like many, many nations in the Western region, Western Hemisphere, I'm sorry. I'm concerned, however, that the Biden administration has created the perception that it's picking sides in Guatemala's presidential election. And so my question of you is if you'll commit to this committee that you will respect the outcome of Guatemala's August presidential election, regardless of who wins. Yes, Senator, thank you for the question. You have my commitment that I will uh, respect the outcome of the Guatemalan election. Uh, that is, uh, we will work with any uh, government in Guatemala, or as I've discussed, our, our future is shared. And there are so many issues that we need to work on together. Uh, the Guatemalan uh, people are at, a, uh, are at a democratic milestone and that uh, they have an opportunity to, uh, to freely elect a, a leader. We need, we, this, this yeah, my, my, my point is that we need to respect that and not be perceived as being in any way meddling with it. And so I hope that you will right. certainly follow up on that perception. I will work with I appreciate that. Um, when I met with President Giamatte, as I mentioned earlier, he correctly, I think, identified Guatemala as a choke point for illegal migration from Central America. He talked to me about the national security crisis that presents for his nation, as well as for the United States. And during the previous administration, Guatemala was a key partner for the United States in countering the crisis. They signed an asylum cooperation agreement that helped stem the flow of illegal immigrants. Uh, but since January of 2021, that flow has exploded. And it's created numerous problems, not only here in America, but also in Guatemala. And during our meeting, President Giamatte advised me that technical assistance, training, equipment, that, that that type of activity would be far more effective in his mind to help counter illegal migration flows, illegal drug flows. He felt that that would be far more effective than increasing funding for non-governmental organizations. Do you agree with President Giamatte's perspective? Thank you, Senator. I believe that we should use every tool that the embassy has to uh, to reduce the pressure on our southwest border and to support uh, humane and orderly migration. Uh, Would you I, have some perspective and, and, on what and we direct, do? I'm and, sorry. Direct, and direct support to the, to the, to the government. 
I'm just interested in your perspective on what we could do to help support strengthening the rule of law in Guatemala and to help them enhance border security and deepen our economic ties. Senator Haggerty, border security has been a focus of my career over 10 years. Uh, through my management of the INL program in Mexico City, uh, we incubated new technologies and innovative approaches for the betterment of both of our countries. And one of those innovations is actually currently being piloted at the border in Matamoros and Brownsville. And uh, I helped to pioneer that with my team. So we worked with CBP, Sandia National Laboratories, to actually show that uh, you can increase dramatically border security while, decre while decreasing wait times for licit travel. And so I understand the interconnected, interdisciplinary nature of the border challenge, and I believe I can bring those lessons learned and the things we're actually piloting now to Guatemala to help them protect their own border. They want to protect their own border too, as, as President G. Mateza has said, and that means that Guatemalan border security is our security. Agreed. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator Shaheen. Thank you, Madam Chair, and congratulations to each of our nominees. Thank you for your willingness to continue to serve the country. 